I'm at the largest truck show in the Southern Hemisphere and it's right in my backyard here in Brisbane. So the Brisbane Truck Show 2023 is underway. It's running from Thursday the 18th of May right through until Sunday the 21st of May. And it's spread across a couple of different locations. Today we're at the Brisbane Convention and Exhibition Centre at South Bank. So I'm going to shortly take you guys for a tour around the show and we'll be having a look at some battery electric trucks of various sizes. We'll also have a look at some hydrogen fuel cell trucks. And look, since I'm here, I will show some other fossil fuel engine trucks, the standard diesel sort of trucks, um, because even though I'm into EVs, it is amazing the engineering and the um, workmanship, the technology that goes into trucks in general. Um, walking around here today, I'm absolutely blown away by the scale of the um, vehicles that we've got on show. There's also uh, trailers and um, suspension systems, braking, all the associated uh, gear that goes along with heavy haulage trucks in particular. We'll have a look at a couple of electric uh, drivetrains and we'll do a comparison just a visual comparison against um, a standard sort of diesel um, drivetrain with a, with a normal sort of transmission and just the size of it alone you'll see the difference in size, difference in weight, difference in uh, complexity and all that leads through to mechanical wear and tear and reliability issues over time. But as I said here to appreciate everything the Brisbane Truck Show's got today, not just electric. So let's go and have a look around. And here we've got a battery electric Scania. Again, a nice looking truck. So a lot of the brands here have electrics. So those skeptics that are saying electric transportation isn't happening, here it is. And the good thing is this one's up on a hoist as well. So let's have a look under this one. So there's some beefy air suspension. So look at those big airbags on that suspension. Standard looking sort of diff there. So as we look up underneath there, you can see those high voltage cables again. So we'll try and zoom up on the side here, see what we've got. Can't quite see, I think they're battery packs. It looks like a standardish sort of gearbox there as well. Battery packs. And here we are going up underneath from the front. Steer tyres all looks fairly standard up in there. Big brake piston in the centre of the screen there. Got your shocks, big cross arms. <laughs> Difference is there's no internal combustion engine there with a big sump and gearbox, so that's a lot cleaner. That looks like some sort of electronics there in that. And then yeah we zoom up down in there a little bit they look like battery packs on the side so here's an example of some of the other technology that's around here at the brisbane uh, truck show so these guys here are brake testers so as you can see they're, they're rollers um, very very grippy so what you do there is you drive a truck or a bus onto those and um, they speed the the truck or the bus up and then they test how efficient the braking is so this is a, um, a safety transport type type thing so i was just chatting to the guys every bus depot public transport bus depot has these types of things in there to maintain their their buses there's another another one over there 
And then this piece of gear here, um, this is a display version obviously, but that piece of gear actually tests um, bearings, tie rods, joints, all that sort of stuff. So you drive the vehicle on there and it moves 100 millimetres in all directions and it tests the play in the um, suspension and steering gear. So here we go, walking around the biggest truck show in the Southern Hemisphere at the Brisbane Truck Show. Look what I've found. Over my shoulder there, we've got a 100% battery electric flat tow truck. So let's go and check it out. So here we go, this one's built on SEA's 300 EV platform, obviously working for nationwide towing and transport. So I wonder how many people walk past this one don't even know it's electric. But there we go, that's where you charge it. So 16 amp um, breaker there. We've got our male three pin plug there. So you just put in a normal extension lead to charge that up. I suggest you'd have to have a, probably a heavy duty one. That looks like an emergency stop up there. Hydraulic tank there for oil for the rams to lift the tray. Uh, we'd have an electric motor there somewhere to to pump that hydraulic fluid. There's our 12 volt batteries. So as we know, each EV always needs 12 volt batteries to fire up all the electronics. I don't know the As we go down the side there, that would be the battery banks. Now there's an interesting concept. So this is obviously not related to a battery electric truck, for instance, but it's a 100% electric powered trailer. So the good old Maccas, this is a uh, trailer that they would use to deliver the uh, food. So that's your carrier fridge unit at the front. We'll go up and see if we can see some stats shortly. So that's probably not that much different to you would see on a normal fridge box trailer, except that the batteries are underneath it. So um, it's self powered, I guess. So what they normally do with those, if they have a, uh, a diesel motor in those or a petrol motor, when they pull up and they're parked up, they'll plug them into external power so they're not running the motor. This particular one, obviously, you've got the batteries on board on the trailer and you'd be plugging it into charge. And a quick look at some of the other gear here. Look at that livestock trailer. So that's a double deck livestock trailer for carrying cattle. Could take buffalo, horses as well. Castrol stand has a little bit of uh, renewable energy, electric charging stuff here. We've got the uh, tritium charger there that looks like an RTM 75 maybe. So BP obviously rolling out the BP Pulse charging network around Australia. Some marketing there, helping the road transport industry navigate their journey towards net zero. So our friends from EV Automotive, so we've seen those guys at Fully Charged Live in Sydney. So they're bringing out some newer models as well. The EC1 100% electric single cabin. That's their big sort of transporter van, so a Ford Transit type style. So the EC1 transporter. So just a basic little two-seater. Again, perfect for sort of those round town deliveries. 
Oh, this one's a left-hand drive, so these ones obviously aren't ready for the Australian market yet, but just on display. Well, there we are, the Brisbane Truck Show 2023. I hope you enjoyed that quick walk around. As I said, I only captured a very fraction of it, mainly looking at the electric vehicles. So I'll include links in the show notes to any of the uh, gear we looked at there, the ones that I could find the links. So if you'd like to learn a little bit more about that, have a look at some specifications and all that sort of stuff, by all means, check those out. But really, it's an eye-opener to see the size of the electric prime movers uh, that are around, particularly in the Volvo, and the Daimler trucks um, space. So we're looking to cover those a little bit more as time goes on. But yeah, the E-Cascadia, um, a massive prime mover, uh, dual axles, uh, fully electric. So these types of trucks are just going to um, become more and more frequent. Uh, you'll see them more and more uh, around on our roads. And it was interesting talking to some of the brands. Uh, you would have heard some of the presentations there. Some of the truck brands were talking about uh, sustainable zero emissions transport. Obviously, they're talking about zero emissions at the smokestack um, or at the tailpipe, whatever you want to call it in the truck world. Um, However, some brands weren't uh, broaching the subject at all. If you like the video, please give it the thumbs up and do all that good stuff to support the channel. And I look forward to bringing you guys many more videos in the near future on electric vehicles and electric vehicle technology. Take care.